say what dare to advice? dream mm-hmm. go all out for your dreams okay. and uh, you need to love what you're doing so hi clara hi how are you today good would you please give a quick uh, brief about yourself hi my name is uh, clara and i'm 35 and i'm the founder of sibil construction enterprise we are into this construction business for the past 5 years okay that's nice so the company was established in 2018 2017 uh brick and mortar yes. has been the core and a passion for me in in that in construction okay. uh, planning and designing uh, for clients and uh, different kind of individual i get to meet uh, different kind of group individual when it comes to their designing of their houses okay. so it's a kind of uh, challenging but uh, it's a great great experience that you get when you meet different clients to be honest i don't see this as a male dominated uh, i think we are gifted to be able to uh, go into any kind of uh, business so for me it's like yes in malaysia we do see it as a male is a male industry yes. but i'm here to actually uh, break the barriers and say that uh, we as a woman we can also penetrate into this uh, male industries so um i'm able to create a touch for them in a different environment where i call it as a woman touch yes. so at the end at the, at the end products that we deliver it cause like the classic environment for them oh, okay i believe that uh, more women will rise up into these industries and it's equivalent to the male and also to the female okay to be honest it is not easy that there will be a lot of rejections Uh, especially with clients uh, you actually have to tell them that the cause of the relationship between the cost and the product yes okay we have a conversation with the clients through phone calls and everything and when they meet you face to face they will doubt you whether you are able to deliver what they want and all that so that has been a very challenging moment for the past 5 years mm-hmm. but when you slowly build the relationship with clients you are able to see that they build the trust in you so i have experienced a lot of clients with different attitudes yes. uh, different mindsets but at the end of the day when i deliver the results for them they are very happy because they say that uh, it's a different environment when when a woman does an uh, a renovation for them yes. is totally different okay. so for me it's like when i do it i do it as though it is my house and oh, i okay. and i when whatever that i touch i believe that i need to give them the end product to be a good quality for them oh nice so that will probably be the term of the woman's touch i guess yes. in the industry <laughs> social media has been a resourceful uh, platform for me and uh, we got our clients basically through instagram through facebook first we were able to get clients recommendation and it 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 started to grow better uh, from word to word we also do a uh, brochure and uh, banner uh, contributions and all that through new houseman townships and all that social media played a very big role for us especially in instagram and facebook because out of nowhere we will just get calls and then we will be like uh, we will just ask uh, how do you actually got to know us from and then they will just say oh it's from our social media and we saw your your work and everything and we feel it looks very nice and all that so that is how we managed to get our business through it so like if we do find you on like instagram and facebook we can see all your work that you have yes, done correct okay yes. that's nice we will definitely add that and check it out so uh, who has been your biggest support system To be honest, five years has been a really very challenging year for me. Many people who have walked with me through it, and even till today, oh, my life partner, my family, and my friends have really uh, see me through it. And even till until today, they still walk with me, and they have always been my strong support. And I really owe them a lot, and I hope that they will always be there for me. And, uh, to be honest, yes, I did work. Okay. Someone for the past 10 years and yes. and I'll say that uh, working for people um you are only stuck it to 5 and you're always in the office only you can't explore out unless like if you're working on your own you have the whole day to yourself and to explore out of your comfort mm-hmm. zone being an entrepreneur uh, is not easy <laughs> but when you step in nice. it becomes it becomes your it's like your child yes. so it's like you have to put all your best and you have to go all out to do what you need to make it so i'm mm-hmm. able to 
to go all out and to to accept the challenges that I see in the in whatever that I that I do. Go all out for your dreams. You need to love what you're doing. You have to have that passion and you need to have that love. You will, then only you will know that experience that you have. Take the risk. There's no way that you don't have any risk in life. There's always risk. Take the challenge. No matter what challenges may come to your life, no matter how tough it may be, never give up your dreams. Go all out and there will be people to always support you.